ஹலோ மியூசிஷியன்ஸ் கொட்டண்டாமா Welcome back to Dr. Sticky Notes. Okay, I guess you are following my videos daily. If you are a new member, just go to the playlist and watch your favorite subject. You may like it. Okay, today's topic, we can see about the drugs that should be discontinued period to surgery. So, what are all the drugs that can be discontinued period to surgery? We can see and how many hours or how many days before we have to discontinue. period to surgery that also we gonna see yes first topical medication so what about topical medication when we can discontinue before the surgery on that day you can discontinue the topical medication on the day of surgery that's enough the next is what if see see or he taking a uh, diuretics yes the same you can discontinue on that day of surgery except one exception is there except thiazide yes what the patient is taking uh, oral uh, anti diabetic drug or oral hypoglycemic drug the same the drug should be discontinued on the day of surgery the next is what if a person taking sildenafil very important if a person taking sildenafil and you are on the way for a surgery i hope it's visible yes you have to discontinue or drug free of sildenafil one day before surgery that is you should discontinue 24 hours before surgery i hope you understand the next is what the patient is on nsaids yes the patient should be nsaid free or drug free from nsaid about 2 days period to surgery so you have to discontinue 48 hours before surgery yes the next is warfarin what if the patient is taking warfarin and he or she have to go surgery yes warfarin should be discontinued 4 days before surgery and the next we have seen warfarin now we can to see about uh, aspirin the aspirin should be discontinued 3 days before surgery what he or she is taking mao inhibitors this is the longest discontinue period that is you have to discontinue 14 days before surgery and the next if she is a psychiatric patient and taking lithium you should discontinue 2 days before surgery what if she is taking oral contraceptive pill a female patient coming and gives a history that she is taking oral contraceptive pills and she has to do an elective surgery then you should advise her to discontinue ocp for about 4 to 6 weeks yes it's not days 4 to 6 weeks before surgery the next is tenopyridines so like clopidogrel or ticlopidine 
so these ducts can be discontinued or in some books it has been given that uh, there is a waiting period for clopidogrel and diclopidin so antiplatelets like clopidogrel have the waiting period of 7 days diclopidin has the waiting period of 14 days some exception are there for this drug this drug can be continued in cataract surgery can be continued in cataract surgery or any other uh, stent surgery that's it guys please subscribe the channel i will give you overall view just take this as a sticky notes and see in daily basis subscribe the channel for more high yielding videos like this these are typically onlineers and we you have to read it daily daily basis to keep that in mind sildenafil one day nsaids two days warfarin four days aspirin three days lithium two days MAO inhibitor 14 days. This is 4 to 6 weeks. Yes, keep that in mind. Waiting period. Thank you guys. Let's see next video.